Hello and welcome to another GCSE Economics video with me, Mr Goff, from MrGoff.com. Today's video will be focusing on analysing the effects of the market forces of supply and demand on equilibrium. We have previously looked at the reasons for shifts of demand. Now let's look at their effects. As you can see from this diagram here, if we have a left shift of demand, it also results in a contraction of supply. The result of a left shift of demand will be a decrease in both equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. If you imagine the two demand curves labelled the other way around, you can easily see that when we have a right shift of demand, we would have an increase in equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. Just as a shift of demand led to either a contraction or expansion of supply, a shift of supply leads to either a contraction or expansion of demand. A right shift of supply would lead to an expansion of demand. The result of a right shift of supply is higher equilibrium quantity sold and a lower equilibrium price. If you imagine the supply curves labelled the other way around, you can see that a left shift of supply would lead to a higher equilibrium price and lower equilibrium quantity. The elasticity of a product won't change the direction that the equilibrium price and quantity move in, but it will affect the extent to which they move in those directions. If we consider a right shift of supply for a product with inelastic demand, we can see that the result is a large change in equilibrium price and a small change in equilibrium quantity. The same right shift of supply with a product with elastic demand results in a small change in equilibrium price and a large increase in equilibrium quantity. After you have drawn the graph that shows the effect of market forces and then explained the change to equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity, you'll have to analyse the impact for either producers or consumers. In general, you'll build an argument towards how it affects profits for producers and how it affects quality of life for consumers. But a little trick to look out for is when the consumers turn out to be other businesses in which case you'll want to talk about how it affects their profits. If we have a look at an example using our graph with a right shift of supply and inelastic demand, we can see that for consumers, we'd be able to talk about the fact that the lower equilibrium price might mean that they might be able to get the product for less money, giving them more money to spend on other things and a higher quality of life. If we consider producers on the other hand, they might need to lower their prices in order to compete with the new suppliers that have entered the market. This could affect their overall profits. That brings us to the end of our look at analysing the effects of market forces on equilibrium. Join me again soon when we'll be looking at some videos on competition. Try the free resources at www.mrgoff.com to help you revise economics. And until next time, it's bye for now.